I wanna share with you guys the method that I use to sanitize my equipment. So it's really important to make sure you're properly sanitizing your equipment when formulating because we want good manufacturing practice. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Now, I definitely don't think this is necessary, but I do have my own room that I sanitize in. It wasn't always like this. I used to sanitize in the same room I formulated in, but you do wanna make sure it's in a room that is clean, basically kind of the same concept as your formulating room. So I wash all of my formulating equipment in my sink, and then I bring them in here here on this table to dry i put down a bunch of towels and i let them dry here and then once they are dry i will move them over here normally i do not have this much equipment to sanitize at once but i'm a little behind and then i take this container up here and before i use it i always like to spray it down with some rubbing alcohol but I will just spray this down. So I let that sit for about a minute and then I wipe it out. And this is literally just a, like a storage container you would buy at Walmart. It's like one of these. I just have the lid off of it. 13 inches by nine inches. I'm not sure how much water it holds. Now I do think container size really varies on like how large your equipment is that you need to sanitize. You do need to make sure you can basically submerge it all but if you can't submerge it all you can always like rotate your stuff you'll see so you do not need this large of a container just figure out what works for you so while this sits with the rubbing alcohol let's go into the kitchen and i always just use this large pot doesn't matter you just need to boil some water and i always again like to spray rubbing alcohol in here let it sit for a minute and then wipe it out so i'm going to be taking a jug of distilled water and you want to make sure it's distilled water and i turn this on honestly i just do like high because all we need to do is just boil the water. And I don't add in the entire gallon of water. I don't know, we'll see how much I end up adding. So I use about half of a gallon of water, roughly. This is what I use for sanitizing. You can buy these on Amazon and they're just little tablets and you need one per gallon. You just want it hot enough where it dissolves your tablet. Because if it's cold water, it will take forever <laughs> to dissolve. It will dissolve eventually, it just takes forever. Just like take something and like stir it up to help dissolve it. And I do recommend wearing something to protect your clothing because this water is blue and it will stain your clothing. And I recommend wearing a hairnet because, you know, we need to be sanitary. Now we can go ahead and pour in the rest of the gallon. Add in the other gallon. Make sure you're wearing gloves and we just put everything in. and then you wanna let it sit for a minute. So now after a minute, we can remove and then place them on your drying racks. You do not need to hand dry them. And now we can fill this back up. And again, let those sit for a minute. So while that sits, let's talk about the sanitizing station and how I have it set up. So first off, we have this table right here. Anything that is like, you know, kind of high up so you're not bending over a lot. So some kind of like bar height table I think is perfect. And then I have this cart. I bought this on Amazon. It just, I use it for everything. This drying rack is game changing because it has so much space. People told me it was gonna rust, but so far I've had it for a year and it shows no sign of rusting yet. So I bought this on Amazon and I actually installed these shelves upside down. So it has like a little lip in case like, I don't know, it just protects anything from falling over. And I clipped this little, uh, this is from like, just like a drying rack for regular kitchen dishes. And I just put that on the side of that to hold like the stirring rods and spoons and stuff. And I have this rack sitting on top of this metal tray I got from Ikea and that just catches like majority of the water. There's no drain holes in it. It just catches the water. So then I can empty it after everything's removed off the shelf. And then to catch any other dripping of water because as we move things from here to there, you're gonna drip a lot of water. I put down these rubber mats and I got two large ones and then two smaller ones. I just bought them at different times. <laughs> And these are pretty expensive. They're like $50 a piece, I think. And then over here, we have another table. This is just like a fold out table you can buy from like Walmart or Amazon. And then I put these soft fabric drying mats that I got from Ikea. I have like four of those spread out. 
and then two more of these rubber drying mats on top for extra protection. And then these three drying racks, I think they're drying racks. I don't really know what they're supposed to actually be, but I bought those on Amazon too. Everything from Amazon will be linked down below. And these drying racks specifically work really good for like bottles because you know, they don't really like stand up on here. So that's specifically what those are for. And then I just got another one of these metal trays like I have down there to touch all the water. And then this four tier plastic shelf with holes in it. It's like perfect for a dish dryer rack. But I got this from Ikea as well. And that is like the entire area I have for sanitizing. And of course, when you're sanitizing, always make sure you're wearing gloves. You don't want to use your bare hands because that's not sanitary. Also, if you have anything that's like too big that can't be completely submerged, what you can do is just put it in as much as you can. So this is like covering half of this container. The water's covering half of it. So just let this sit in there for a minute and then rotate it. And then same with this, you can like rotate it and then let it sit for another minute and then both sides will be sanitized. And we are all finished. <laughs> These two are just like stacked. But the sanitizing solution is only good for 24 hours. So whenever I'm done with it, I just throw it out. You can keep it if you want in case you like dirty more stuff. You can sanitize stuff throughout the day, but it's only good for 24 hours. So it's the next day and most of these will be dry, but some might still be damp. It really just depends. If it's colder, they'll take longer to dry. If it's warmer, they'll dry faster. So I like to use these storage bins. You can buy them from any super store. And I just put everything in these. I have all kinds of different sizes. Like I will use smaller ones like this for like my whisks, ice cream scoops. And then for like the bottles I sanitize, individual bottles will have their own containers. Basically this kind of concept. But for all of like my beakers specifically, those all go in just like a larger container like this. And if you want to divide them up, like put smaller beakers in a smaller storage container, your larger ones and larger ones. So I got the majority of everything put away in different containers and it really just helps me putting things in specific containers like spatulas in here, funnels in here, ice cream scoops in here. When I'm formulating it makes it so much easier to find everything. So I do still have a lot of things that still need put away but all of these are still slightly damp. I kind of just moved them around so they had more space to dry because when you start stacking things like I did it takes a little bit longer for things to dry because the water can't really drain fully. So I'll probably just let these sit again overnight and then put them away tomorrow. Music and find someone to listen. Yeah.